Hey guys, Eddie here with another video. Today, we're going to be discussing Tesla uh, and their shares are down as much as 20% today on Tuesday, erasing up to 80 billion uh, in market capitalization from the world's most valuable autom uh, automaker. Um, so they're down over 26% uh, over the last week, but let's not forget how much uh, they've increased over the last year alone. So over the last year, they're up a very cool 675%. Year to date, up around 320%. The last three months, up 85%. So they've had a real wild ride. Um, they've had ex increasing attention on them from the retail uh, traders, as we know. But more and more institutions are really warming up to the idea of Tesla. Uh, and actually, what's really increased the valuation of Tesla is really not looking at it as an automaker uh, in the traditional sense. So looking at it against comparables like GM, Ford, uh, actually, that valuation would generally be a lot lower if you're looking at traditional metrics like deliveries. But really what Tesla is or what is being viewed as and perceived as uh, is really a technology name uh, and really is almost a, a software company with autonomous vehicles, um, you know, all the software they've got in their Model S, uh, 3s, X and Ys uh, and actually the autonomous taxis, uh, the electric vehicle market as a whole and how much share they can take from that. Uh, and actually that leads to a much higher multiple, or a much higher valuation. Um, so sales side analysts are scrambling uh, to increase their targets, or at least they have been. Um, and actually, if it's being viewed as, you know, the, really the pioneer in the electric vehicle space, not to mention things like batteries, um, this is why it's commanding such a big valuation at pretty much a thousand times earnings. So they've had a really wild ride this year, uh, up a huge amount, but actually today they're down up to 20%. Um, and why is this the case? One of the major reasons they've been snubbed uh, by my old company, the S&P, um, so Standard & Poor's. So the S&P 500 has actually passed up on including Tesla uh, and its you know, most influential uh, index, the S&P 500. So the S&P 500 is the world's, sorry, the world, America's largest 500 companies um, and probably in the world as well, but um, only, in, only in America. Tesla's market cap is far higher um, than most others actually included in the index, but it's actually been snubbed in favor of names like Etsy, Okay, so Etsy is actually 25 times smaller than Tesla uh, on, a, on a market cap uh, basis. Why is this snub um, by the S&P 500 inclusion you know, hurting their stock price so much? Basically, lots of pension funds and passive funds own the S&P 500, so popular ETFs like SPY as an example. And their job is really to mirror um, the S&P 500 index. OK, so when a new company is added to that index, then they need to actually buy shares in the company uh, to mirror the composition. OK, so this would put obviously upward price pressure uh, on Tesla shares, obviously being a positive for them. So the fact that uh, markets over the recent weeks have been pricing this inclusion uh, in September and now this is not materializing and it may be December or, or if at all uh, this year, um, this is obviously going to be a real negative for the stock uh, as it would have seen a lot more institutional flow if it was included in that S&P 500 index. Another factor that really could be weighing on Tesla shares um, is the massive 5 billion stock offering they uh, issued with the help of some major leading investment banks uh, last week, um, according to a new regu regulatory fi uh, filing. Sorry. Um, so this uh, share offering usually is dilutive for a company. So uh, infecting popular metrics like earnings per share, the denominator of the being the shares outstanding increases, so that earnings per share looks uh, less favorable. Um, so this kind of dilutive action generally would be seen uh, as a negative unless investors perceive uh, them to be doing a really sensible thing once their share price has risen so much. Actually, doing an equity offering is a really, really good idea uh, to capitalize on that share price uh, appreciation, sorry, uh, and actually um, raise some capital for future investment to the business. Um, but this, 
paired with uh, the snub by the S&P 500 index. Plus, we saw real um, negative tech pressure on Thursday and Friday. And again, today we're seeing Apple down quite, uh, quite a lot. If you haven't checked out the video I did yesterday regarding the unusual option buying and selling activity uh, of SoftBank, go and check it out. It will be on the Amplify YouTube channel. But this could be um, further exacerbated by dealers being short uh, Gamma and Delta and actually exacerbating the price movement downwards, uh, actually selling more uh, as they're long. So lots of things uh, weighing on Tesla today. Um, but we'll definitely see if there, you know, if there's any support, mainly at the 336 level or 300, if it does get down there. Um, so that is why Tesla shares are most likely falling today. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, give the channel a subscribe. And if you like these kind of ad hoc uh, market reviews, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to record more. Take care.